What's going on everybody? It's your boy Blue Raven and we are back with some Blue Raven gaming with some Destiny 2. So I want to go over a couple things with Destiny 2. They just released their March patch. This is their largest patch since well it's been a while. They've been releasing small little patches. This is a, this is a substantial patch. They did a lot of work. This is their go faster patch. Um, essentially Guardians move faster. When you're in your supers you move faster. Um, abilities recharge faster and so on excuse me so on and so on um the other thing they did was they added in uh they added in um eight mate man uh eight man royal or rumble in pvp eight man rumble in pvp was added in um they also changed the way heavy the heavy ammo in pvp uh has a lot shorter cooldown so you get heavy ammo faster you get your supers faster um, and uh, when you kill an enemy they if they have if they've picked up the heavy ammo and you kill them the, the heavy ammo now drops on the ground so that was some other changes they made um, they also changed the nightfall to where the nightfall has a nightfall exclusive uh, drop this week so there's a sniper rifle it wasn't that good I didn't even I haven't even gotten it I've done a nightfall like three times I even did a prestige nightfall and I couldn't even I couldn't get it so um, but it's it's a legendary I, I'm waiting for the exotic ones to come around I'll actually show you guys videos when I get those uh, but today's video is actually gonna be on Segura uh, Osiris's ghost um, I believe I've completed everything I need to do to get the ghost and uh, before I turn in this last prophecy I wanted to hold on to it and then do a recording and show you guys uh, now I I'm pretty positive I could be wrong you can correct me in the comments below but I'm pretty positive this is a one-time um, playthrough because it's since because the prophecies are account wide um, you can't get this ghost so you can't get Segura twice you, or three times for that matter you can only get her once now you can move her around you could you could move the ghost from character to character whichever character you're playing on but as far as the uh, the ghost is concerned you can only do the prophecies once so you complete all the prophecies once for the account um, and I have the fifth prophecy currently completed it's already done I have extra prophecies I even have extra crafting material as you can see see I have this here and I have this here and I have this here um, I'll be destroying all that if I don't need anything else it says for, I have to forge the weapon is all it says I need to do let's go see if I am in fact done because if you look there is there is this here but I don't know if that's an actual one but this is the only one left that I can see that I need to uh, light up let's see what happens guys again I could be wrong on this but hopefully I'm not nope there she is so I got the Traveler's Judgment 5 Segura Shell so I got three things I got a sidearm let's take a look at that the Traveler's Judgment 5 looks pretty cool um, I can make it three uh, let's see what is it already void alright I have three voids let's go ahead and put that on there so now it's 335 I'll keep it since it's 335 Go ahead and jump that. And I got some stuff I need to get rid of. Alright. And then, as you can see, there she is. Now, this is what's so cool about Segura's ghost. She uh it says loyalty does not mean obligation, only justice is blind. Uh detects caches uh and resources within 75 meters and mercury, generates gunsmith limerage data on elemental weapon kills. Uh, increases glimmer chances to obtain additional faction consumables on mercury so that's pretty cool uh, generates gunsmith telemetry data on elemental weapon kills so um, anyway that's what she looks like um, it's not really Segura because Segura is more widened out but it's it's called Segura shell it's basically your ghost and he, he wants to look like her a little bit 
um, and yeah I, I, I tell you it was quite the grind to get that too it is not an easy task um, I will give you guys a little couple pointers um, if you haven't gotten this yet and you want to work towards getting this ghost shell um, the way to get it is you have to complete all the prophecies all 12 so that whole board needs to be lit up minus where the plug-in is obviously um, and you get them you get the prophecies from brother Vance now they'd be up here just above the missions and you can see this is the other this is the craft this is the craft until you need for the prophecies that goes into them um, the uh, uh, the the easy the best way to do it because not every week are you going to get three prophecies or two prophecies some weeks you're only going to get one prophecy and if that's the week if you go in here and you've completed all your prophecies and you turn them in and then you go into the start the next week and you see there's only one there and you pick it up you're not going to get another one that week so my advice is when if you have that one keep that one until the following week don't turn it in as soon as you get it completed what you want to do is um, it actually took all the craft material out of my inventory as soon as I completed it, which is nice. Uh, what you want to do is, uh, while you have that prophecy in there, just keep uh, doing normal stuff. Because as long as you have the prophecy, you'll keep getting crafting material. But as soon as you turn it in, if you don't have any prophecies in your inventory, you can't get any, any of the crafting material for the prophecies. And you need 10 green, you need 10 green of either one of these make a blue one um, and you have chances of getting blue ones when you're doing the events that you need to do those and uh, the nightfall one uh, you you can only hold three of them but if you uh, if you turn the prophecies in you're not going to be able to get anything so I, I highly recommend this is what she looks like just chilling with you look at that that is awesome um, I'm really excited about that because I mean I pretty much I pretty much have 100% uh, Destiny 2 as far as up to this current DLC. I'm 335 as you can see. Uh, I have fully um, uh, I have a full ornament. Uh, this is the Future War Cult armor set and it has, has all of its ornaments in it as you can see. And then I, it's all also master worked. Um, so this is fully masterworked and all my weapons are fully masterworked as well and I have an exotic sparrow I have an exotic ship if I wanted to put an exotic ship on there I do have that um, which is fine um, so I, I, I've kind of gotten everything out of Destiny 2 now that I really want now there are a few things I still want to get um, and that has to do with uh, this chick right here Tess Everest uh, what I want is basically from her now is the exotic sparrows uh, because there's one exotic sparrow that you can get where when you're riding it it looks like the back of the sparrow is getting ready to explode it's just got this huge fireball come out of the back of it as you're riding it looks really cool I really want that one um, so I'll still be playing it that's what the, my exotic ship looks like um, so I'll still be playing Destiny 2 to get those plus my warlock isn't fully upgraded neither is my hunter my hunter is 333 my warlock's not even 25 yet he's 23 and he's like 30 he's like 310 or something like that so i'd like to get those up before the next dlc drops in may i believe um have that all done so that way come next dlc because my clan actually has started getting back on we just hit level three today and as you can see the nightfall was completed we did that uh i did that as a clan so now now we're at level three. We can uh, we get improved rewards and we eliminate vex enemies, which is cool. But um, this, yeah, so I'm well rested, so it means I can get XP. So I get the illuminated engrams um, faster, um, and those have give me the chance to get that sparrow because it's currently not available to buy. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about when I go to the tower. I'm trying to make this video last a little bit longer in just like five minutes. Um, so other than just showing you the Segura, how to get the Segura uh, ghost shell. Um, again, there's 12 total prophecies for that. Um, and it is a grind. So just be prepared for it. Get your get your Spotify up and play some music and just start grinding. That's what I did. Um, and again, so it is an account-wide thing. So you can, I can't do it again. Um, 
but the the armor the, and the other thing I want to work on too is because this armor set that I have I like this armor set the future world cult one is really cool but the one I want to use uh, is this one I'll show you what it looks like she goes real quick I don't have the mark for it yet but this is the this is the armor set this is called the um, Omega set um, this is Tess Everest's armor set she gives you uh, it's really up for fashion and I think it looks so badass on the Titan uh, the Titan has a lot of cool armor sets, but I think this is like my favorite one. Um, uh, I I do have my Saint Saint fourteen kind of look where I go here, and then I just put back on my other stuff. Um, so I kind of look like I get that Saint fourteen look because I have his shotgun, I have his helmet, and I have his emblem, um, which is pretty cool. Um, but and I have this this helmet's pretty cool I think I've even got the yeah I can change it to make it look like that so it's more technode so it doesn't look completely retarded and I can change the shader of it I didn't even think about it because this is actually a good this is a good one um, to get closer to what my I don't have any more of my chess piece so like I think this one might look good no let's see this one see that doesn't look too bad that kind of matches that kind of blends in so we can go with that I, I was thinking about this one but I think this is gonna make a green oh no 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 that would have been it that would that's it right there that's not mine but the ironwood definitely works better so like that's yeah, pretty cool looking and this helmet is really good because uh, if you want to run, if you if you want to run the solar, it's really good. So I have one for solar, I have one for arc, and I have one for void. This is my void helmet, and I think I even have a. No, this one doesn't come with an ornament. Um. And, but uh, um, my point is, is I can and I'll show you. I'll show you another thing. I know I have I've gotten every exotic in the game as far as weapons and armor go. I know this because I went and saw uh, uh, what's his name, the guy that shows up. He'll be here tomorrow. Um, can't think of his name. He's one of the nine. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, uh, Zer. So I went and saw Zer last week, and you can for 95 legendary marks, you can buy an exotic that you don't already own. And I bought one from him last week, and he gave me one I already have, which means I own every I have every exotic in the game. So based on this, this is just this is, and this is just showing me the Titan. So this will show if I was if I was on my warlock, it would show the warlock. Uh, all my warlock armor exotics and then if I was on my hunter it would show all the hunter exotics but yeah I'm pretty sure so anyways back to what I was talking about with Tess Everest uh, I got into some some fashion souls there like dark souls um, Tess Everest she sells see right now she's not selling an exotic sparrow she is selling a sparrow but it's, I already got that one I've already just dismantled it but if you can come in you come in here you can look these are these are the two sparrows I believe it's the Curse of Foresight that's the one that still does that. Um, best possible before it's this one I, because I don't think it's this one because I own this one. Yeah, it's not this one because I own this one. Um. Uh, so that's the only other one that she sells for season two and see I have it right there and I actually changed the shader to match my gear kind of matches up with the the pattern it makes it where you can see the pattern of the chest on my chest matches the pattern on now you can actually see like the carbon fiber and stuff so I put the xeno silver on there to do that um, but anyways that's all coming from me right now, guys. Uh, I know that here's another helpful hint. If you have a character like this who's 335, 
um, and you have another character and you're working on like your third character who's really low um, you can do what I'm doing like I mean look how much uh, gunsmith material I have right now I have a ton of it and the reason is and I have a ton of vanguard tokens and that's all for my warlock so my warlock starts to level up I can give him full I mean I guess I'm gonna uh, full masterwork it'll be pretty easy to get masterworks because um, I mean I got enough tokens from both of those and I have, I'm always getting more. Um, so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you do, can you please like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you haven't already done so. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, do you like Destiny 2? Are you not a fan of it? Let me know. What do you think of this? What do you think of the Sagira Ghost Shell? Is it pretty cool or what? Um, on that note, guys, I uh, hope everybody enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.